Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, 2014 Ten years after the onset of the devastating simian flu pandemic, the global human population has dwindled significantly, with only about 1 in 500 people, 0.2%, possessing genetic immunity. Human civilization has collapsed, leading to widespread societal disintegration. Meanwhile, a large group of apes, granted enhanced intelligence by the virus, has formed a colony in the Muir Woods National Monument near San Francisco. This colony is led by Caesar, supported by his lieutenants Maurice, Rocket, Luca, and Koba. A human group led by Malcolm unknowingly enters the apes' territory while searching for a hydroelectric dam to restore power to their community in San Francisco. During an unexpected confrontation, Carver, a member of Malcolm's group, injures Ash, Rocket's son. Malcolm manages to defuse the situation, and Caesar orders the humans to leave. Urged by Koba, Caesar leads his army to the human community as a show of strength. Caesar declares that while the apes do not seek war, they will defend themselves if necessary, demanding that the humans remain within their own territory. Malcolm convinces Dreyfus, the community's leader, to give him a chance to take a small team to the forest with the mission of reconciling with the apes and accessing the dam. Eventually, Caesar allows them to work on the generator on the condition that they surrender their guns. While working together, Malcolm, his wife Ellie, and his son Alexander bond with the apes. The fragile truce briefly falls apart when Carver is discovered to have kept a hidden gun and is thus forcibly sent away. However, trust is restored when Ellie, who is a nurse, saves Caesar's wife, Cornelia, from postpartum fever after giving birth to Caesar's younger son, Cornelius. Paranoid that the apes may attack, Dreyfus arms the community with the munitions at the Fort Point Armory. Koba, who hates humans for torturing him as a laboratory test subject, discovers the armory and confronts Caesar, accusing him of caring more about humans than apes. Caesar beats Koba in response, but refrains from killing him. Koba later returns to the armory, kills two guards, returns home, and beats Carver to death after the humans succeed in repairing the generator. Koba takes advantage of their celebration to covertly set fire to the ape colony. He then shoots and seemingly kills Caesar, who falls into the underbrush. Koba frames the humans for Caesar's death and the fire to justify war. Taking command, he leads the ape army to San Francisco, where they plunder the armory and mount a full-scale assault on the humans. Despite taking heavy casualties, the apes breach the building and imprison the humans as Dreyfus flees underground. Koba kills Ash for refusing to kill unarmed humans and imprisons all other apes loyal to Caesar, including Rocket, Maurice, and Luca. Malcolm's family finds a severely wounded Caesar and transports him to his former home in San Francisco. After sneaking back into the settlement to find medical supplies, Malcolm encounters Blue Eyes, Caesar's elder son. Blue Eyes spares him before learning that Caesar is still alive and accompanies Malcolm to him. Learning that it was Koba who shot Caesar, Blue Eyes reunites with his father. The trio return to the community and frees the imprisoned humans and apes. After escorting the apes into the tower, Malcolm finds Dreyfus, who has rigged the base of the tower with C-4 and reveals that his men made radio contact with a military base. Malcolm holds Dreyfus and his men at gunpoint to give Caesar enough time to retake command and confront Koba at the top of the tower. In an attempt to kill all the apes, Dreyfus detonates explosives to destabilize the building, killing himself. Caesar defeats Koba and refuses to help him as he falls to his death. Malcolm warns Caesar of the approaching human military. Believing that the humans will never forgive the apes for their attack, Caesar persuades him to evacuate with his family for safety before the fighting begins. He also addresses the apes as they prepare for the upcoming war.
no, no.